Oof, ow, that was in my butt. Ow, buy me dinner first, yo. like I got the craziest little sunglass tan. I do not. I just have concealer and brows on my face today because we're going to be playing with the things that I put in the title. You guys know what it is. I don't know why I keep talking. So I asked you guys on the Instagrams, uh, Jade, if you guys wanted me to do a look with this palette. Now this is a blush palette. This is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. We got a cheek palette and that's, that's what it says right here. The thing is, however, I feel like I didn't want to just do a look where I was talking about the cheeks. As I was looking at this, I was like, I can do an eye look with you, sir. I can do a nice little strawberry lemonade summer look. That's gonna make you look so good, feel so good, smell so good, probably, I don't know. Maybe shower beforehand. Which is another kind of item I wanna touch on. You guys, you don't have to use a blush, it's just a blush. You don't gotta use a bronzer, it's just a bronzer. You guys see me plenty of times using my bronzer as eyeshadow. You guys have seen me use blush as eyeshadow plenty of times as well. And if you do eyeshadow with the same exact palette that you do your blush with, you're gonna look like one monochromatic bitch and that's a good look boo. I love monochrome looks. There's just something so aesthetically pleasing about them and I love them and I want them right here. I should however set my ojitos a little bit. I'm not gonna set them so much. I'm just gonna go into my beauty bakery palette and I'm gonna grab Nana Pudding. The reason I'm gonna do this is because this is just gonna help the eye look really blow itself out more. If you guys don't know by the way what Lunar Beauty is, Lunar Beauty is the makeup brand that Manny MUA created and if you guys don't know who Manny MUA is, well where have you been? Oh, the mirror is super pretty. And he loves moons. And he came out with this makeup line. And these are the first few products I'm trying from his line. This was actually a gift. My cousin got me this because she knows I love blushes. And she got me a couple of lip glosses because she knows I love glossy lips and nudes. And nude lip glosses. I feel like I could have done so much better with my concealer under my brows today. <sighs> but honestly, you guys, it's been a day. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab Pink Moon. And this, again, is gonna serve more as a transition color. And it's one of those colors that's really not gonna show until the entire look is done. Like, you're not gonna notice it until the look is complete. Now we're gonna go in with Stargaze. And I'm just gonna use the same brush for this, guys. And I'm going to focus this more on the crease. Mas que nada, cause you know how it is, okay? We need that definition there. Now I'm gonna go into Twilight, which is this peachy shade. I love shades like... This brush is really trying me. I'm gonna use this one from Royal and Lane Nickel. There you go, sir. Gracias. Oof, I'm looking like a creamsicle. No, like strawberry lemonade. Nope, I'm gonna say strawberry lemonade. Unpopular opinion. Creamsicles are gross. At me. I don't like cream-filled anything. Like cream-filled, well... Like cream-filled donuts? No. Cream-filled churros? Please stop. Cream-filled popsicles, though? Oof. Can y'all stop being extra? I swear to God. Keep your cream out of my things. Drink your eight glasses of water and vaccinate your kiddos. That's all. It's that simple. It really is that simple. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Spacey, which is this kind of mauve shade right here. We're eventually gonna dip into every single shade. Oof, look how pretty that is. You see, don't tell me that little pink shade didn't come through. It wasn't the shade you wanted, but it was the shade you needed, just like the year 2020. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my makeup, but we're gonna come back and we're gonna touch on this. But for the eyes, I really like the eyes. I actually wanna add some eyeliner, but I'm like, I don't know what eyeliner to add. Should we do a pink eyeliner? I ordered a whole bunch of these. This is from a brand called This <laughs> Key Best.
I got so much powder on my jeans. And I was planning on wearing these jeans all the day. I don't know what blush to use. I really don't. Love all these blushes so much. I think I'm gonna mix Twilight and Pink Moon because they're the ones that I've just been like staring at the most. And I know you guys probably wanted like a shimmery shimmery or this or this mauve one, but it isn't gonna happen, okay? I'm gonna stick to Twilight and Pink Moon. Hate to hear it, hate to see it. It's just what's gonna be. gonna put some blush on my nose. I'm just gonna go ahead and drape the blush some more. You guys know I love draping my blushes. Once this sets, I'll go ahead and try Soleil as kind of like a blush topper and I'll mix it with my highlight. Just because again, I wanna use this palette as much as I can. But for now, while my setting spray kind of sets, I'm gonna go ahead and try the lips. I'm very excited about the lip glosses. You guys know I love lip glosses. I love lip glosses and I love blushes. So this has just been a great video for me in its entirety. Again, the packaging is adorable. This is like a gloss, is a gloss, is a gloss. I'm so excited to try this one. This one is in the shade Moon. And this is a very opaque gloss. There's no glitter in it. It's just a glossy nude lip. So this is definitely the one we're going for. I'll go ahead and swatch Starlight for you guys though, how ebbs, because I know you guys are curious. And little cheese mosa, so I see you. I see you going for a cheese me. And this one, it's pretty, but it's just not, it's not this one. I am gonna go ahead and line my lips. I'm gonna use a Jeffree Star lip liner, I know. I know what I'm doing, guys. It's such a, I love big doe foots like this. I can't stand the little ones. These just cover way more real estate. Oh, what a pretty duo they make. It really is a shame. Oh well. Oh. You go over here, you go over here. I get it. I'm gonna be the most honest with you guys ever. Um, the blushes, they worked really well as eyeshadows. They're pigmented, they blend very well. On the face, they're pigmented, they blend very well. They're not the most pigmented, I'm not gonna lie. But here's the thing with blushes, guys. Here's the thing with blushes. Typically, I don't like going for blushes that come with like a pow pow, because I can be very heavy handed with my blushes. And one of the things about me that I'm trying to break this habit of, for some reason, I like to start blushes here, and it shouldn't be that way, because I don't like the majority of my pigment to be right here, because then she's gonna look like a Cabbage Patch Kid, and the uh, she wasn't made by Mattel. I'm trying to get in the habit of getting like my, my like the most pigment right here because this kind of defines like this whole area and then I just kind of like to blend it out. And why I'm saying this is because some blushes they come real hard with the pigment and then you cannot take the pigment off. I rather have a lighter blush kind of pigment that I can build up to my choosing. I know you guys are staring at my bra, okay? And I know you guys are probably like, Gloria, I could see your freaking tetas, I could see your bra. And I know, sweetie, I know. That's the point. I thought this was a cute little look. I don't know about y'all, but I'm the one that's wearing it, so at the end of the day, it shouldn't bother you. Anyways, back to the blushes, thank you. I actually like this formula because you can blend it out, you can build it up. I will say, I don't know if it's the setting powder that I'm using today, or just my makeup, because my makeup, honestly, it's not my best. These lights, that 4K, it's helping me right now because in the IRLs my makeup is God, I don't know what I did wrong with it today guys but it's just a little bit chunky I do like the blush it's just a little choppy underneath uh, and I don't know like I said I don't know if it's the blush blush it could be and if it is I'm not the biggest fan of that are they the best blushes I've ever tried not really but they're very cute and I love the color selection you did I love the color selection you did I love these pinks she really do be looking like strawberry lemonade she looks refreshing she doesn't feel refreshed, but she looks refreshed. The glosses, I only try, I should try this one. I'll just try it, why not? I'll layer it on. I mean, oh, that's actually a really pretty color. Oh, that's actually a really pretty color. 
Well, the formula I love because it's very light, very creamy. The colors are awesome. I really like the glosses. Like these glosses are coming home with me. They're gonna have their own little house, but no rent to be paid from them. They're gonna be living with me for free because I like them. Overall, I love the makeup look. Again, my makeup today, Am I just not exfoliating enough? Because I swear I have been staying hydrated and prayed up like you would not believe these past few days. But I'm telling you, like my skin, she's beefing with me. She really is. But she also won't tell me what she wants. She's being very emotional. She's being such a Gemini right now. And I can't stand it. Anyways, I want to thank my cousin for buying me these. Thank you so much. This was a really awesome gift from you to me. I love it. I appreciate it. And I want to thank you guys for like, you know, uh, conversating with a girl and letting me know like, hey, we actually are interested in seeing you review these items. Thank you so much for all your comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go now because I deserve my iced coffee, okay? And I'm going to go get it. Sixth one of the day, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. The bank account, however.